So the iPhone is one of the most advanced smartphones out there, and there is no denying that it has an amazing camera. Now, there is a lot of tech packed in this small device that you can fit in your pocket. It is incredible, isn't it? Let's talk about the iPhone colors. See, although the iPhone is capable of producing amazing pictures, and although I imagine that Apple has put a lot of effort into trying to make the colors as much as close to the reality, to me, when I take pictures with the iPhone, I feel that there is something off. Have a look at this picture, for example. See, this is just one of the examples. Now, let me show you how it looks like on the video side. All right, so this is me talking to the iPhone. Do you see something strange here? Let's say, how does it look like the skin colors? And I'm using here kind of a professional light or, you know, studio lights. So, hmm, how does it look like? Now, I'm not trying to roast Apple or roast the iPhone. Far from that, I really do appreciate and I do like pictures out of the iPhone. It's just the color situation that I need to fix it. And hence, I came up with some LUTs and presets in order to do this. That's exactly how I'm gonna show you today. How to fix the skin tones and also to get the best out of the pictures from your iPhone. So for the majority of people out there, their first intuition when they would try to fix the color is to use the native photo app in the iPhone and just play with the dials. The problem is that when you do that, you are affecting the entire image. You are not isolating specific part of the image, let's say the skin colors or the skin tones. And hence, it's very hard to get a good result without messing up the entire picture. That's where dedicated photo editing apps like Lightroom comes into place. And this is the application that we're going to utilize today. And of course, there are plenty of other applications out there that can achieve similar results. But today we're going to have a closer look using the Lightroom app. It is completely free, by the way, and I'm not sponsored by Adobe. So first, let me give you a tour of it. Once you open up, you're going to be presented with your library. And then in here, you're going to see all the pictures that you have taken with your iPhone. If the pictures are not showing up yet in the application, you need to go to the settings and you need to check that you have in the import tab that you have turned on the auto add from the camera roll. In this way, every time that you take a picture with your iPhone, it will load automatically to the Adobe Lightroom. Once you are in the library itself with all your pictures here, then you can choose the picture that you want to change. And once you select it, at the bottom, you're gonna see that you have a different set of settings. Now, I'm not gonna cover all of them, but I will show you the ones that we need to use in order to fix the skin tones. Once you have your picture loaded, you need to look here for the color settings at the bottom. And once you click on it, you're gonna see that you have a series of sliders. Don't mess with them for now. The settings that we're gonna utilize to fix the colors, it's here in this button at the upper right corner called Mix. Tap on it and then you're gonna be presented with a series of dials. Do not mess up with them. Now, to fix the skin tones, we don't need to mess with all of the dials. It's just the second one, which is the orange, and that is the part that affects mostly the skin. And you can notice that the iPhone pictures, they are kind of a little bit saturated on the orange and the yellow tones. So this is how we're gonna fix the skin tones. Drag it through the left a little bit on the hue, which is the first slider. And I will drag, let's say, minus 10, just a little bit, okay? The key here is to not overdo it. It's very, very small adjustments and small tweaks that will make your picture look amazing. Now, I still feel that it's very, very oversaturated. So I'm gonna go to the second slider and drag through the left a little bit until I fix the saturation. And in here, to me, it looks like minus 25 or minus 26. It's how it's looking good. Of course, people have different skin tones and different pigmentation. So play around with this slider and find the sweet spot for you. Okay, so in my case is hue minus 10 and the saturation minus 24. So if I tap and hold, you will see the difference here between the before and after. And you see that I'm not affecting the entire image. I'm just changing the skin tones, which is one of the options to fix the skin tones without affecting the whole image. Okay, now once you are happy with the colors, you can tap at the right upper corner where we see here these three dots. 
and then you can tap on create a preset. Now choose a name for this preset, let's say iPhone Skin Fix and tap on done. So with the preset in place, every time that you need to apply this to a new picture, you don't need to go through the process over and over again. So let's choose another picture here. Once you have a picture loaded, you see at the bottom that there is an option there called presets. Tap on it and then you can navigate and find the preset that you just created. In our case, the iPhone skin fix. You see how easy it is. Since we are in the preset page, let me show you here some of the presets that I have created. Uh, let's apply this teal and orange portrait, for example. Now you see that it's, it's very pushy on the colors, but this is on purpose because it's a more generic preset and it will depend on type of pictures that you have and you can always dial back the colors afterwards. But what is important is that this preset is tweaking all the different set of colors in order to achieve the teal and orange look. Now, we have the preset loaded and the next thing that we're gonna need to do here is to click on color and I will dial back a little bit color slider. Now see how amazing it is. This is the before, okay? Just a regular iPhone picture with me being a little bit yellow and I don't know, weird colors. And this is the after with the teal and orange applied and with the better skin tones. Still, it's a very colorful picture, but the colors are much more pleasing to the eye. You see that not only the colors, they had changed, but also there is, there is this filmic look applied to it. It looks like a picture that was taken with a film camera. Okay, it's not 100% because, you know, we can try simulate film with digital. It's never going to be the same. But at least you can remove a little bit of that digital feeling from the iPhone and get more cinematic or more film look with your iPhone pictures. Right, my presets are available in my website. So if you like this preset and the colors that you see here, have a look at the website because there are plenty others. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.